Hello, I am Brian Show, pastor of the Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church uh, and a member of the Wellness Connection, Inc. Uh, Jesus, I am reminded, told us that I come to give you life and give you life more abundantly. And we believe that because Jesus wanted us to have the abundant life, that included more than just the spiritual life. Certainly, uh, the church's mission is to uh, deliver the word of God to the people so that they can live an abundant life eternally. But in addition, Jesus also dealt with the physical health of people, the mental health of people. He dealt with the financial health of people, and he dealt with the social issues of the day. And because of that, we need to understand that this is what Jesus said when he said, do you want to be whole? And so the abundant life is a whole life. And so the Wellness Connection, Inc.'s purpose is to help the church help the people of our community become whole, as Jesus Christ has called us to do. Health and wellness ministry is the ministry of the church. It is the calling of the church. And while we have focused almost primarily on the spiritual health, we now must make sure that our ministries also focus on these other areas of health in order to help the people we serve. So the Wellness Connection strives and intends to connect pastors, connect church congregations, connect our community with the resources that are needed to live this abundant life. Quality of life is what is really important as well as eternal life. And so the Wellness Connection wants to help build hubs at churches, wants to help churches become part of the resources that reach the community so that we have better health care outcomes, whether they be physical health, mental health, financial health. We believe that the church is the center of our community and such it is a center of distributing information, knowledge, education. It's the center of people discipling and working with others so that they will know what it means to be healthy and connecting them to the resources they need to be get healthy. And we thank you for listening and being with us and joining with us as we carry out this great mission of God. Jesus Christ said, I go away. And if I go away, you will do greater works. And so this is the greater work, bringing health and wellness to our community. Please join us in this great mission. Hello, I'm Pastor Michael French of the New St. Mark Church of God in Christ. Let's talk about the Pastors' Roundtable. The Pastors' Roundtable began as a small group of pastors and ministers here in Indianapolis, Indiana. The organizers were Pastors Bruce and Loretta Farr of the Overcoming Church, Leroy King of the Community Pandemic Wellness Initiative, CPWI, and Al Bracken of the Community Agency of Greater Indianapolis were very helpful in the early stages of our group. During our virtual and in-person meetings, we discussed how to move forward during the COVID-19 pandemic. Quickly, we recognized there were issues that all of our churches faced. The development of a health and wellness ministry in each of our churches became a common theme on which we could agree. The concept of community wellness should be a spiritual and public health issue, not just a social issue of concern, to those who suffer from specific illnesses or serve in healthcare industries. The wellness of a community affects all members and the ability of the community to thrive. A health and wellness ministry is consistent with the ministry of Jesus Christ. The COVID-19 pandemic revealed many areas of weakness in our community and the distribution of health-related services. The faith-based community is uniquely positioned to act as an agent to bring together the various segments of our community to address the wellness of our members and neighbors. One of the references we reviewed was the book written by Reverend Edwin H. Hamilton, MD. The title is The Health and Wellness Ministry in the African American Church. He stated that preventive health education and community health outreach should be the focus of our wellness ministries. Historically, the African-American church in the community has been the cornerstone of hope and trust. Pastors and church leaders can lead our congregations to better health outcomes. As a result of our meetings and work done by Pastor Brian Schaub of Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church, a position paper was created early this year. 
In that paper, several steps were outlined to develop and support important initiatives. One, faith-based health care navigators. This ministry would train individuals to connect with congregants and community members to support recovery needs and direct persons to resources in their recovery period. Two, violence reduction advocates. Establish a ministry focused on reduction of violence within the context of our communities. Three, peer-to-peer -peer support training given to members of our churches. These persons can become certified and serve in their congregations as resources to the church and community. Four, financial health and wellness and literacy programs. Financial health is critical to all aspects of health. Providing training here could lead to greater access to all services by creating greater economic mobility. Five, spiritual health. The primary objective of the church is healing individuals that they may see the glory of God and enter the kingdom of God. Through our efforts to reach our community and neighbors, we must make disciples of Jesus Christ. It was from the pastor's roundtable that a memorandum of agreement was created. This led to formation of the Wellness Connection, Inc. What puts the Wellness Connection in an optimal place to be a tremendous resource in the community is that they have individuals in their congregations and within their communities who number one, are in need and then are the perfect people to connect with families, neighbors, and individuals who also need the resources. So when we usually have a need, the first place that we usually turn to are our faith communities. And whether I'm your sister or whether I'm your cousin, if I have a resource because I'm connected to an organization that offers those resources or has the information available to me, then I'm able to pass that information on to you. And then you're able to pass that information on to someone else. So a network of pastors and, and spiritual leaders being in a position to do that and being willing to do that in our community creates an amazing opportunity um, for individuals to get connected directly to the help that they need without having to navigate complex systems of finding out where information is. The information and support is directly where they come to church. Hello, my name is Reverend B. Houser, pastor of Mount Pisgah Baptist Church of Indianapolis, Indiana. Third John 1 and 2 states, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thou sowest prosperous. In other words, God would have it that we prosper in every way, in good health, and that our whole life is going well. As a church, we thank God for the Wellness Initiative. It has taught us that our membership can be helped and healed, not just by the preaching of the gospel and teaching of the gospel, or by the connection of the support of the health entities to help us physically get well and stay well. It has benefited our church in the community uh, by promoting health and healing as a part of the mission and ministry of the congregation. It helped us feel the need to organize a wellness ministry in our church in which Sister Nicole Davidson is president. It, it has benefited our community because through the health fairs and the health events we have hosted, we have discovered that a healthy community depends on people who serve it. We stand on the discipleship ministry as we come in to worship and to go out to serve. I feel the initiative would be helpful to other churches and communities because it broadens the connection of your congregation and the community. You learn about the professionals who are right there in your congregation, and you learn who are the supporters in your community because of relationships you have built with them. You will find new contacts and it will be very effective for your ministry. Health and wellness is critical for the continuation and fullness of our ministry. I'm LaRoy. I'm the owner of LK3 Consulting and the project coordinator and administrator for CPWI. I'm really excited about this new initiative, Wellness Connection, Inc. But first, let me share with you a little bit about how we got here. In the summer of 2020, when the pandemic was gaining steam and many around the world were dying, our future was unclear. One thing was certain, because of the health disparities in black and brown communities, 
Those communities were disproportionately ravished by higher rates of contagion and higher rates of death. Community Action of Greater Indianapolis, also known as KG, became recipients of the CARES Act Fund to address the negative impact of COVID-19 in these black and brown communities. KG hired my company to design and administrate a two-year response project called Community Pandemic Wellness Initiative. The project sponsored and hosted many local community health and wellness events, educational webinars, provided COVID-19 tests and vaccinations, health screenings, referrals, and more. A critical piece of the CPWI strategy was to engage the local churches and its leadership. Because the local church is considered a trusted local institution, we set out to build on the church's already established relational and social capital. There are two components to the CPWI church strategy. The first component was to resource and support local pastors and community leaders and secondly, our strategy was to mobilize local churches as community health and wellness hubs. For the first component, CPWI, in partnership with local clergy, created the Pastoral Health and Wellness Roundtable, a space and platform where pastors and community leaders can be informed, receive support, and have a safe place to have difficult conversations regarding their own and their communities physical and mental health condition. For the second component, we initiated local churches as health and wellness hubs. The hubs were driven by three criteria. Number one, neighborhood residents needed to be able to access someone they trusted in their own communities who will listen and whom they can talk to about their own health and wellness concerns. Number two, they needed someone who can direct them to the most helpful resources. And number three, the local community needed the opportunity and the space where they can mobilize a grassroots effort to be empowered, to have a voice, a say, self-determining the quality of life, wellness, and the community health that they all deserve. With these three as our driving construct, we designed and began implementing a strategy that utilized local churches as neighborhood health and wellness hubs, serving as the center of activity to educate, to connect local communities to needed resources, and to mobilize. Although the CARES Act funding for the CPWI project has ended, the mission, the strategy, and the programming has not. This initiative has laid a foundation of community impact that will continue for years to come. Many initiatives have been birthed out of the CPWI project, and we're excited today to announce the launch of one of those initiatives, the newly formed Wellness Connection, Inc. I'm Corey Jones. I'm a chaplain at IU Methodist. Mental health is a spiritual pertinency and constant in biblical texts. Proverbs 17 and 22 says a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. The spiritual realm's efficacy on the physical body is as real as your heartbeat or the comforting hand of our Lord through his servants in our greatest times of need. Proverbs 23 and 7 says as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. In 1952, a woman named Florence Chadwick decided to attempt a 26-mile swim between the California coastline and a Catalina Island. During her swim, Chadwick traveled with a team whose job was to keep an eye out for sharks and to prepare to assist any event of unexpected cramps, injury, or fatigue. Roughly 15 hours into her swim, a thick fog began to set and clouding Chadwick's vision and confidence. Her mom happened to be in one of the boats at the time as Chadwick returned to her team. She didn't think she could swim any longer, but she swam for one more hour before calling it quits. As she sat in the boat, she discovered that if she had only continued for one mile, 
she would have reached Catalina Island. We all need help swimming our prospective miles to the island of health that our community is in desperate need of. We need out-of-the-box solutions that include programming and access to the resources necessary to address the systemic health disparities that impact marginalized people. To properly care for tomorrow's leaders, we must address the health disparities and issues of today. Wellness Connection is the beacon of light on your swim through the fog. There are health disparities that we as millennials need to address to make sure that tomorrow is a brighter future for our children. Hello, I am Brian Hudson, pastor of New Covenant Church. The Wellness Connection is a movement and a new organization entirely focused on the health and wellness of people in our community. An excerpt from the book of Acts reads, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all. We know that Jesus healed and delivered people from all kinds of afflictions and oppressions. But the text also states that he was anointed to do good. Doing good expressed God's concern for the total person, spirit, soul, body, and their communities. The Wellness Connection is Christ-centered, holistic, and community-based. The blessings of God's kingdom are not limited to the church. We view local churches as hubs of love, care, and action, reaching into every community to serve the health and wellness needs of our neighbors. I invite you to connect with us and help us do good and bring healing to all. Hello everyone, my name is Pastor Bruce Farr. And having began this journey with the Pastoral Roundtable to now transitioning into the Wellness Connection Group, we feel our work is just beginning. The pandemic has opened so many opportunities for the faith community to address the disparity that exists as it relates to our overall health. Many people will trust the church before they will any other institution. We see this as an opportunity to not only meet a need, but this can also open a door to share our faith. We're asking you to join us in this endeavor by becoming a member. Membership is $250, which gives you access to peer support training, along with staying up to date on the various trends in health and wellness. You can go to our website to utilize the various payment options. 